In today's video, we're going to guide you in setting up the CR3170 so that you can gain remote access to the devices on your network. So let's get started. So here you have a picture of the CR3170 and the connections on the front and back of this device. You can also see the power cable that comes with it. And to power this unit up, you'll take the black connection from the power cable and connect it to the power port on the router. You will then take the other end with the screw terminal connections and connect 24 volts or 12 volts DC to the red connection, and you'll take zero volts DC to the black connection. There are three ways to gain internet access. You can connect an antenna to the Wi-Fi connector or a mobile antenna to the mobile connector, or you can connect to your network using the RJ45 Ethernet cable connected to the WAN port. If you are using a mobile antenna, you must insert a SIM card into one of the SIM slots in order to gain mobile internet access. The extra RJ45 ports are for hardware configuration, which will be demonstrated later on in this video. There is also a GPS antenna, which will not be used in this video. Before we go into hardware configuration, these are the terminologies we'll use throughout the video. Gate Manager serves as a centralized hub that allows users to securely connect to and manage remote devices. Site Manager refers to a hardware device that serves as a gateway or a bridge between the local industrial network and the remote access platform, typically Gate Manager. In our case, the Site Manager is installed in the CR3170 hardware. Link Manager is a software application on your PC designed to facilitate secure remote access to industrial equipment and machinery. In order to use Link Manager to establish a secure connection, the end user will need to purchase a one-time license, part number CZ9102. For the initial configuration of your CR3170, open a new browser and enter this default IP address, 192.168.82.1. You will then come to this login screen. The default login is admin, and the password is admin01 all lowercase. After you log in with the default username and password, it'll automatically prompt you to enter a new password. And after you enter a new password, a setup wizard will appear. I already have changed my password, so in order to access the setup wizard, I will go to system and click on setup wizard. Now you can follow the setup wizard. Select your time zone and click next. On step two, you will select Auto APN and you will set your MTU to 1400 and click Next. On step three, we are going to keep the LAN IP address set to the default, but you can change this to match your network and then you can press Next. Steps four and five, you can skip and just click Next. And on step five, you can click Finish. Here on the overview page, you can now check your mobile connection and internet access. Under the mobile section, you will see that the state is registered and roaming and that you are gaining data. And here under the WAN section, you will see that we have a mobile connection to internet and that the IP address is automatically assigned. If you wanna change your WAN connection to a different access method, you will go up to network and you will select WAN. So here you can select what you want your main WAN connection to be. Ours is selected for mobile, but you can change it to a hardwired connection or a Wi-Fi connection. Here you can also select your failover method. Here we have ours selected for hardwire, and you can change this here and then click Save. After purchasing the CR3170, you can contact info.us at ifm.com with your name and email address. We will then create a folder and an account on Site Manager for you, and you will receive an email with login instructions and a certificate. Here is where you will upload the certificate file and enter the password designated to you, and you will click Log In. Within Gate Manager, you will find a folder with your company name as well as the Site Manager license that IFM has assigned to you. In order to gain remote access to your devices, you will need to make a one-time purchase of the Link Manager license, which is part number CZ9102. Next, you need to point your CR3170 to this folder. So if we go back to the web GUI for the CR3170 and we go into services and site manager, you will need to enter the gate manager name here. So if we go back to the gate manager web browser, you can find your gate manager name above. With your gate manager name, you will go back into the CR3170 web browser and enter your gate manager name here. 
Next in the Gate Manager, if you select your company folder, you can find your domain name and you can click copy to the clipboard and then go back into the web browser and paste it here. Please note that the end of our domain has .ifm effector, but yours will be different. And then you can click Save. Once the connection is established, the status will change to connected. Back on the Site Manager site, you will now see a CR3170 appear. If you do not see this right away, you can click Refresh in the top left corner. Here on the CR3170, you will see a little red exclamation point, and that is because there is no Site Manager license linked to this device. If you click on the CR3170, you can then click on Bind License, and it will ask you which license you want to connect to it. Since we only have one license available, that is the one that it shows, and I can select Yes, and it will connect this license to that device. You can now see there is no longer a red exclamation point next to your CR3170, so we can set up our subnet for our network. You can do this by clicking on Site Manager GUI, and you will click Edit on Device Agents. So here you can change your device name to whatever you like but under device type, you need to select generic and subnet. Here you can change your IP address to whatever network you have your device on. In our case, we have ours on the 192.168.82 network, and by setting the fourth octet to zero, we can see every device on this network. So here, if you expand the CR3170, you will see the subnet mask that you have just assigned to it, and the green check mark shows that this is now available. Lastly, to establish a remote connection, you will click on Connect All. Since I've already installed Link Manager, I can click on Start Link Manager. But if you have not installed it, click on Install Link Manager and follow the prompts. After you start your Link Manager, this is what you will see back on the Gate Manager site. The green icons show that I have a connection and you can find the rest of the information over here. That concludes this how-to video on connecting a CR3170 router for remote access. As always, you can check out our website for helpful information on any of our products or contact us at info.us at ifm.com or call into 1-800-441-8246 to speak with somebody who can assist you. Thank you for your time and have a great day.